More than 235 walkers have planned and prepared for their journey this weekend. It's the Great March for Climate Action 2014. KEZI 9 News, Nine News anchor Sean Cuellar introduces us to four local walkers who are putting their best foot forward. A winter walk in Eugene requires a jacket. So I comfortable shoes. A good example. John so Abbey always water. packs a little extra. But I have my uh, water bottle um, and a pack of cards about group dynamics. Abby's a web consultant with a major in psychology. He's always been aware of the environment. Ready? I'm ready. But in the 1990s, he made major changes. Or, or getting rid of the car altogether. Never one to call himself an environmental activist until now. I've changed my carbon footprint, but I haven't acted in a more outward way. He's on a mission. Just the fact of my willingness to do that, to help communicate to people, this is a crisis. Like, I, I'm not that young, but I'm, you know, we're already seeing the impacts uh, uh, of climate change. Okay. Joining Abby, Pablo Howard, along with 235 others for the Great March for Climate Action, walking from Los Angeles to Washington, D.C. If you can walk 500 or 400, whatever it is, from L.A. to Phoenix, you could probably walk 3,000. <laughs> is I that think, right? <laughs> I, I, okay. Mary Adams will start the march and is going as far as Arizona. So that's why I'm doing this. I have grandchildren and children, of course, and I'm doing it for them. Also rolling along, Kelsey Juliana, just 17 years old, a senior at South Eugene. Her mom walked from L.A. to New York City in 1990. Then it was called Global Walk for a Livable World. Oh my gosh, this is it. This is it. She'll be joining the march this summer and delaying college just to take part. Climate change, which is the crisis of my generation, the issue that everyone, every social and environmental justice issue is facing. Juliana is an activist, one of two plaintiffs on a lawsuit against the Oregon state government asking for out. a carbon reduction plan. We caught up with this Eugene group last month, meeting for the first time and getting in a little practice walk. They recognize that not everyone believes that climate change is an so issue. We'll never convince all the people that climate change is due to human intervention. The walkers represent 26 states and six countries, and many will be joining along the way. The march is expected to last eight months and cover eight states, with the estimated arrival November 1st. They've each raised funding to cover their expenses, and some have given up employment, even housing. That's how much climate change concerns them. This is a destiny. This is my calling. This is the time for me to, to make a change. To take action, one step at a time, 2,600 miles, hoping to inspire action. In Eugene, Sean Cuellar, KEZI 9 News.